by trying all the nail things so you don't have to but anyway we are going to continue on with our series from yesterday and so yesterday you got to see me being able to do a fill-in or at least get an idea of how it is that I do a fill-in but before I go any further guess what you should do people you should go ahead and smash and hit that subscribe button because you're going to want to hear our banter you want to hear everything that goes on in this channel you're going to want to do some learning okay so go ahead and hit it you know do, do something well for yourself you're going to love it go ahead and do it yeah Okay, anywho, I am uh, getting to the point where I'm done with the fill-in, and now we're going ahead and seal in the cuticle, and I use this Panna 5-in-1 bit. The link is down in the description box. You can find it on Amazon. I think I paid about, I don't know, I think 8 to $10 for this bit. Absolutely love it. It's in a medium grid. If you don't know, that blue around that uh, band means medium. Yeah, so that's just me going ahead and sealing around the cuticle. The next thing I'm doing is going ahead and filing the nail into shape, and I try to stick to a schedule on a uh, fi when I'm filing and then sometimes I do sometimes I do and I'm getting better with making sure I stay consistent but I am using the net young nails 100 grit uh, file here in order to try to you know get that five points to be able to shape that there nail and hold it and getting that edge real good and stuff like that because you know you got to have that crisp crisp shape you all know what it is and I'm talking about so this is a different view right here this is the view where I have the client turn the hand towards me and then I try to make sure that I am really shaping up those sides and that because you can file on one side but it is a whole different story when the client is looking from their perspective and this client right here that I have boy I'm telling you she'd be like I see this is off by 1.2737 millimeters from the left side if she hears this she will probably laugh because she knows that she, I'm really not joking about that but anywho the next thing afterwards that I end up doing is that we end up going ahead and I think this then went out on but anywho the next thing that we usually end up doing is that I go ahead and buff the uh, nail afterwards I use a 180 grit file and I use this disposable file system called pro sticks and it is from the nailfilestore.com it is sanitizable and disinfectable and I love that all I have to do is take it off and throw it away and it does an excellent job of not making the nail too smooth because if you have polish in that that's peeling your nail either there's something wrong with your lamp or your layers are too thick or you may have buffed the nail too smooth so I love this buffer because it gives it like the right grit while taking out a lot of the lumps and bumps in that that are on the nail because you know you need that in your life you want smooth nails no lumpy bumpies here afterwards I usually take a manicure brush you can see the link in the description box and I get them from Amazon and then I just take some 70% alcohol to try ahead and get the alcohol uh, to get the dust off but what I forgot to do as you see there was you know file underside to make those nails just a little little bit um, thinner so if you don't know that trick now you do now we get to the fun part which is the art people so I am actually using the Westonia art brushes that I have from Amazon they're a three pack and I absolutely love these particular brushes um, just in case you want to know what it is that I use to clean my brush I have a mix of just acetone and 91% alcohol that I kind of smooth my brushes through in order to keep them in pretty good shape I'm using the color here from Tammy Taylor called Go Go Green, which is called, which is a part of their Mod About You collection. And I'll make sure I link that here in the cards for you so that you can see what that collection and that um, looks like in order to get that like perfect forest Christmas green color um, that my client really wanted. And I take my time when I'm doing my swirls. She wanted this like double almost French to a, a double glitter French so I'm telling you right now if the one thing that you do need to practice if you want to know what you need to learn about nails learn how to do uh, French learn how to paint on Frenches I'm telling you it, it, it's almost like I think about 90% of my sets half the time have some kind of French or something in them and then I'm also using this color it's discontinued from young nails but it's such a beautiful color called uh, stress ball and you know next next thing we're just continuing to do is just go in there and we're just painting on some more swirls and all the rest of that other stuff because you know you you gotta put your art to game together when you have clients that are looking for you know different designs like when I said that this client says she sees something 0.2 to 37 millimeters off literally that is what happens and so that's why I have pulled the nail all the way back because she saw something she's like this is just a itty smidgy titty, 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 titty. oh and that's cool but you know at the same point in time I'm like <sighs> don't let you sometimes I hate when clients do that but you have to tell them like you know have and I had her look at it beforehand before we started the art but it's a good idea to always have your clients 
check their shape before you get to designing the nail because the worst thing you want to have to do is get dust in the paint as you see i pulled that hand all the way back baby because i'm sitting here like i do not need the dust <laughs> which is the enemy of gel polish all when i'm trying to get my artwork in that done so you know fix that for her and then we're just going in and we're just continuing to kind of perfect that that uh double french on the side so if you don't know what you should do get you some get you some swatch sticks and stuff like that it will it will make it easier learn how to paint all different kind of fringes i do have another video that's here on my channel that um i believe i was using some now they used to be they're they're now called nail reserve they used to be called nail addict but now they're nail reserve how to do frenchies um there so that'll you know take your time and i'm telling you it takes a lot of practice don't think you're gonna look at it and paint it on the client's nail no you're not practice 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 okay here's more glitter that i'm going in with i mean it's just a beautiful glitter and the only reason i'm telling you even though it's discontinuous because sometimes young nails has a tendency to bring some things back and if you ever see it honey you want to make sure that you jump on it and you grab uh this here said glitter all right, so the next thing that we're doing is because the client wanted, this is her version of what we came up with to want Christmas nails kind of without it being woolly Christmas because I know I'm the type of person that like the day after Christmas, I don't want to see Christmas nails on myself anymore. That's why I'm so glad to be a nail tech. I can just change my stuff whenever I feel like it. But anywho, I am using uh, Medusa nails in the color Flying Nimbus, which is one of the whitest whites in I love painting with this white because it just glides on and it does not turn yellow or anything of the sort and it's very easy to paint with so any of those beautiful gold jars you see you know there's a link in my description box it just uh it doesn't cost you anything but you it, it is a affiliate link for them to just see you know who sent you but they got some amazing deals in that going on i love painting out of the pots and with the uh, medusa nails uh, and the medusa gels they just make my job a lot simpler because they just have one good coat coverage and you know i got a few few uh videos on my channel if you ever wanted to see what other colors and that that they have i own the entire collection and pretty much everything they sell <laughs> all right all right so from this point we're pretty much just trying to finish up doing some glitter nails and that and i'm just cleaning out the little glitter container and that here because i love that these glitter catchers have a two-part system too but the white that it is that i'm using here is a custom mix and so you'll see i just put the nail over the glitter catcher and then i'm pretty much just uh you know trying to make sure i just sprinkle it on so here's the glitter giveaway because i'm going to remake another one of these uh glitters and i'm going to give it away to somebody and i want to know tell me people what is the one thing that you really feel like you need to practice on that you would love to see me do on this channel you answered that question you'll be entered into my giveaway all right so if you do that it's easy you know i like to mail out good things to people it's the season of giving yes it is season of giving all right we continue to do these here swirls and they take time like something that i definitely have had to continue to practice um actually i'll be honest with you one of the best world tutorials that i've ever had is uh tino vo if you don't know who he is he's on instagram he's one of the most talented um, nail artists in the industry and he has this very quick like one minute tutorial of how he paints on swirls and i'm telling you it is to change my swirling nail game for the better because oh my god i used to like just clinch when my clients would be like oh i just want simple swirls and i want to be like it is not simple do you know what it takes to try to get these lined up right so you can totally mess these up so and i'm telling you you need to have a pretty steady hand in that when you are in here trying to paint whatever it is that you're you're you know especially not only your version or vision but what your client's vision is you know they come up with all kind of stuff and i do my very best never to say no to my clients to try to give them exactly what it is they uh, want for their nail design all right so we're just continuing on on the other hand because you know we gotta have those matching swirls and i'm telling you oh it gets to be something else honey when you're trying to sit there and you're putting together these swirls and you're like god have mercy lord help me to try to get these on here on these nails and so sometimes you know that's why it takes a little bit of perfection a little bit of time so don't just think you're about to jump into this nail game and bam you about to be the baddest one in the game you about to be painting everything if you are your mama because it, it has not been like that for me <laughs> okay i have had to really really practice this there are times when my clients have sent me an inspiration of a nail design and i literally am practicing for about a good 30 to 45 minutes before they show up because i'm like how am i going to execute this when i have never drawn this before but 
don't be scared it does happen especially if you don't know how to do art you see i got this nice little cleanup brush link down below in my amazon storefront it's the ibl number eight and the number 10 cleanup brush one of my favorite cleanup brushes um in the world so clean up all the myriad of uh nail sins and that here's just me dusting off those nails um i want to tell you too when you have some brushes like this is what i use to get rid of like i kind of did a sugaring technique on here get dedicated brushes that are just for glitter i don't use those brushes for cleaning off nails i use them strictly for dusting off glitter but when i found when i was dusting off the glitter the client was like mm, my job is not gonna be okay with me having this texture which i tried to tell that in the beginning but you know hey that's why you have to have different things in your arsenal now what i'm using right here is the young nails um jimmy gel i mean not young nails ha it's the light elegance jimmy gel it is a soak off gel you can actually use these to build extensions um and that as well i love encapsulating with the jimmy gel because it is so clear you the clarity that is with hard gel surpasses acrylic hands down 100 to 1 and so i love to use this over especially um, soakable gel polish because this is a soakable product. I, d I tend not to use the Jimmy gel over my hard gels that are in a pot like Medusa because they can sometimes crack because of the hard gel that is up under it. So I have different products for different things and you should too. It's, don't just be out here buying stuff. You need to understand the chemistry of how this stuff works um, together. And so the reason I'm putting this on, I kind of like painted it and kind of had a floating motion using the jimmy gel as a way to be able to cover up the glitter to kind of like encapsulate it and also to make sure that my client does can't feel the texture um on her nails and i ended up you know you don't see it here but i ended up stopping and taking a picture before we even coated it because it was just so pretty with it just being uh sugar but between the the texture on the nail and the possibility of it getting um scraped off and some other things because that does happen to sugar nails we had to cover it up so anytime you are you know painting on never just go ahead and you know clean up it helps to just go ahead and clean up the nail one thing i will tell you is that i was going to go ahead and top coat but because these are two different products from two different companies they can sometimes chemically interact with each other and cause you know where there, there's that pulling sensation or the top coat peels off so because i know that and um you know, products like the Jimmy Gel leaves a dispersion layer or a sticky layer on there. I made sure to clear that off with alcohol. Now, if it was another young, if I was using the Light Elegance Top Coat, probably wouldn't have to do too much with it because the chemistries um, have been developed for it to work together. But if you are going to use different polishes and different all kind of gels and all that kind of stuff, I want to highly suggest you go ahead, wipe the dispersion, the sticky layer off. Um, even with uh, polishes before you then go on with Top Coat, especially if the Top Coat is not from the same company um that you use the hard gel in that for and this was just an, an additional layer to protect that you know that design and make sure that my client won't be able to feel that texture um on their nails so now we get to the fun part for the client i just put a little cuticle oil around her nails and then i'm also using the cakes uh, juices and berries uh hand lotion from young nails because it, it, it absorbs very very well and just kind of giving her a light little hand massage in that and it's something that my clients actually really do look forward to and they really like i just make sure i'm not trying to coat the nail we're not trying to you know dump a bucket of oil on it just enough to make sure that those those cuticles and those sides are oiled well and then you get that lotion in there i'm sure i could use some too because my goodness those hands looks like they have rolled in flour honey rolled, <laughs> rolling in the flour bin that's what my hands look like right now but you know hey living in the winter in the midwest they dry lotion all the time and that's just sometimes just what it is and i even you wouldn't even know i drink a lot of water but here's just me getting a couple of photos getting a snap snap snappity snap 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 and here's the finished view people because who doesn't want that candy shot you know what i like to say that it's that beautiful bean footage nevertheless enjoy yourself over this holiday season and don't get yourself too stressed out because life is too short to be miserable and guess what people life is too short to have boring nails so don't and we're out